Hey there, in this tutorial we will show you how to get crystal clear pictures while shooting through your dome port with a wide angle lens. These beautiful big dome ports are designed to shoot with wide angle lenses 20mm and below. I generally use the Canon 8 to 15mm fisheye with this or my 17 to 40mm wide angle lens, normally set at 17. If you're using longer lenses than 24mm, definitely get yourself a flat port, that'll work much better. The goal when shooting through a dome port is to have a thin sheet of water sucking perfectly against the entire port. This method is called wet port shooting and is the most effective uh, method when shooting surface work from the water and split level shots as well. If you don't have this perfectly even film of water covering your dome port, then you will get water drops forming that will ruin, ruin your shot. And there's nothing worse than nailing that hero shot in the barrel to find out later that the water drop is covering your subject's face, nothing worse. Now there are a few methods that some photographers swear by like rubbing fresh potato and other types of fruit and veggies. <laughs> but most water photographers agree the best method is using your own saliva. Yep, it's a bit gross spitting all over your lens port and then licking it, but you're gonna have to drop any reservations that you might have and get in there and make some sweet love to that dome port of yours. And make sure you get the entire dome port gets the equal amount of loving. Your DNA needs to be all over that thing. Now, I was keen on filming doing exact this, exactly this process, but my partner Sharon said, that's not happening, babe. And I guess she's seen me doing it too many times and reckons the rest of the world doesn't need to be subjected to that. So when doing this, try and turn your back from any people around because you always get some strange looks. I'm past the stage of caring, so I'll let them watch and wonder what the hell I'm doing, really. It's part of the fun. Now, while it's widely known uh, to use saliva to prevent water drops on your lens port, there's a few steps that don't get taught or even used by um, some professional shooters. Firstly, it's the quality of your saliva. Make sure that you haven't just downed any milky products, no iced coffees or chocolate milks. They are the worst for spitting on your lens. It's actually better not to have anything to eat or drink uh, for around 20 minutes before you do the deed. Secondly, and most importantly, is the timing um, of your licking your lens port. Many just give their lens, lens port a lick only seconds before they dive into the water, and this is a mistake a lot of crew make. Don't get me wrong, it will still be effective, but if you have to lick it, you have to lick the port constantly throughout the session to keep it working well. If you instead lick the port around five to 10 minutes before entering the water, to let the good stuff from your saliva get the chance to seep into the perspex and do whatever job it does on there to keep that even film of water sucking over your lens port and preventing the water drops from forming. Um, you've got to do that. I normally get my port all licked up and then put, on, put my housing out of the sun while I get into my wetsuit. And by the time I've walked down to the beach and got my fins on and launched into the ocean, it's given it enough time to sink in. Note on ultra hot sunny days, you might want to shorten the time of five to 10 minutes back to about three minutes as it can get a little too crusty with the hot dry wind. There are a few more things that you have to be mindful of as well. You want to keep that pour under the water as much as possible uh, when you're out there. Only bring it to the surface when you're about to take the shot. The thin layer of water will only stay intact uh, so long. So either have it submerged in between shots or be constantly dipping um, it under to get the best effect. With this system, I never really have to lick my port while I'm out shooting. Uh, that initial lick uh, a few minutes before does the trick for hours, which is good because once you're out in the water, in the salt water, your mouth kind of goes dry. It's of course a good idea to keep checking your port throughout the session. Just pull it up out of the water and check that it's keeping that nice clear look. If the layer falls off and falls off and recedes really quickly, you'll need to give it uh, some more saliva while you're out there. Things like oils from your skin or sun cream will interfere with the wet port clarity, so do your best to keep everything away from the precious perspex. One mistake I've seen with uh, water photographers, both online and in the ocean, is they spit on their lens and then proceed to rub in the saliva using their fingers. This can be a crucial mistake as the fingers are often have oils that will reverse the effect of what you are trying to achieve. 
The oils from your fingers and skin will repel water when you are trying to suck an even film of water onto your lens port. So keep your hands off it. This, this is a sacred place and it's only reserved for your tongue. <laughs> also make sure there are no scratches on your uh, lens port. And no amount of licking will help your port if it's not totally smooth. We have a video on housing carrier coming up that you can check out for more info on this. This method will ensure you get all of your wide angle shots water drop free and looking A grade. Please send through any questions or challenges you have with shooting with dome ports with the wet port system. Happy to answer and clarify what I've gone through over here today.